hey guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here welcome to a weekend vlog our last weekend vlog without them kids i'm so excited um to be to have a last weekend without my kids like my kids are a lot but i miss them and also don't mind me looking like um i don't know where my help put my tripod and what i need to do requires a tripod but um this morning i get a, a, a message uh saying that the career guy is on the way and here's my pin and i need to I need to open for them and then now they came and then they dropped this plastic i don't know what this is let's open it together as guys i need my tripod because the lights comes from you see i need to, okay let's make a plan okay this is much better i had to sit down um it's from brand influence i don't know what that is like it's wrapped so, so, oh, it's Melrose. I've got a campaign with Melrose for next year. Okay, makes sense. I thought they were going to send a voucher for me to go buy the product because usually ah, that's what they do. But I guess they sent the product itself. Okay, I can't even open it because I don't have a scissors close. Okay, it's Melrose. I have a, uh, a campaign with Melrose. They just didn't, I didn't know they were sending the actual product. I thought they were just sending um, um, a voucher so that I can go buy. But this, uh, it's a back to school campaign, so I'm going to open it next year. Or maybe I, should, I need to open it now to put it in the freezer, in the fridge. I'm sure they said that it's next year. Yeah, you see, they said they were going to send a voucher. Or maybe the voucher is inside. I don't know. Oh, here yeah, there's... Um, okay, let me get a knife to open this. I said let me get a knife. I meant to scissors. The voucher might be inside. Yo, by the way, record, guys. Yo, uh-uh. This is actually just irritating. Okay, here's the bag. Guys, this thing is so secure. Like, it's sweet. It's like a fragile dish. More bubble wrap. More bubble wrap. Another box. Guys, they obviously just don't want us to open this. Okay. So they say what's in the bag. A breadboard. It's cute. It's small, but it's, it's cute. It's gonna work for the campaign. Um, they said a branded lunchbox, knife, and breadboard. Oh, this is, oh, it's cute. It's, it's cute. It's this little knife and a branded lunchbox. Um, this is gonna be Milani's lunchbox. Definitely. Oh, it's perfect for Milani. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. But I don't see the voucher. Where's the voucher? <laughs> I don't see the vouchers to go buy the Melrose. Or maybe they're gonna send the vouchers um, online. Ain't no voucher up in here. Cool, it's fine. They're probably gonna send it. Yeah. See why I say I need to move and get a bigger kitchen. All these campaigns need a nice kitchen. Like I need to be making lunchbox with my kids. But my kitchen's small. I don't have an island. It's fine though. Anyway, guys, get okay. That's nice. That's next year's problem though. But I'm probably gonna have to take it home because no. But I'm coming back early in Jan. We'll see. I'll see about that. Anyway. Welcome to a weekend vlog. Please don't mind me. I've got rollers in my hair. It's giving auntie, Cassie auntie. Thanks for taking a gown and go say hi to my friend 
go next door and stand on the thingy with my tea and gossiping about people but i'm preparing for tonight i've got a friend mask tonight dinner i think i mentioned in my previous vlog that it was supposed to be a weekend thing but now it's just a dinner thing and that's fine because at least it gives me time to uh, rest as it's the last weekend without them kids then tomorrow being saturday I've got a sip and paint with Boy Dumelo. She does these very, very well. She does so many of them. And I'm so honored to be able to attend this one because I just want to see her in action. I want to see how she works and stuff. And also get, go paint and sip, even though I'm trying to quit alcohol. I'm going to sip a little bit. And then on Sunday, I plan to just relax. So this vlog might actually be way shorter than... The usual because on sunday i'm not gonna vlog yeah i'm not gonna vlog at all on sunday because i just want to um i actually should have started this vlog yesterday because then um it would have been longer but everything that i did yesterday you guys would have already seen i uploaded it yes on sunday uh being now being yesterday if you're watching this on monday um it's gonna be definitely short because on sunday i plan to be a couch potato um i don't want to do nothing i might go for a, a run or a walk or might go to gym oh i have load shedding in, at 12. okay i might go for um a jog in the morning i want to wake up early go for a jog maybe even go for a hike i'm at the same place i went to last weekend but i don't want to vlog like i actually just don't want to vlog i want to sit and be still and be calm as it's literally the last sunday that i have to myself and then that's it that's all i'm doing this weekend but today um, around it's 11 o'clock well it's 5 past 11 because SCOM is reminding me that I've got load shedding in 55 minutes um, at 12 o'clock I've got load shedding and then around 3 o'clock 4 o'clock I'm going to go to my sister's house to go get ready the restaurant we're going to is in Santon so um, it makes sense for me to get ready at my sister's house and also um, uh, what do I do I'm going to sleep at my sister's house because tomorrow Boy Dumelo's um, sip and paint is also around Bryanston, Santon, four ways in that area. So it's going to be closer. I'm just going to spend basically two days and tomorrow with my sister. And but the reason why I'm going there like now to go get ready there is because I left my dresses, my option, one of the options I'm going to wear the dresses there. And also my cousin Umba is going to be doing my makeup. I had asked my friend Oyolanda to do my makeup um, for today, but I just feel like my energy is not 100%. Um, and also there's just a lot of ups and downs when it comes to this dinner There was a lot of are we doing it? Are we not? So I was just like, you know what? Um, I had already paid Yolanda and booked for today, but I was just like, you know, what? it's fine Can we just move it to my move my booking to next year? Um, but then the dinner got confirmed and then I'm like, Ugh, I'm not gonna keep going back and forth with Yolanda Like I'm full of inconvenience and stress her. So my cousin does makeup very well as well So, um, she said she, she offered to do my makeup, but my sister has more products than I I'm not a makeup girly Even though 2024 New Year's resolution, I want to be a makeup girly. I want to bake I want to make up on my face every single day. Well, not every day, but like, you know um, so my sister, my sister wears more makeup than I do. So she's got a lot of more, she's got way more products than I do. So at least then I'll do my makeup at her house. So around three o'clock we're going to go. So I'll see you guys when we leave for my sister. So I'm just like doing my hair to prepare. Um, I've got my outfits, but I'll show you guys my outfits options at my sister's house because they're all there. Uh, but oh, that's it. I'm show you. I can actually show you my friend. Uh, the gifts. Honey. Guys, I need my, um my what is this i need my tripod let me show you so we're gifting each other every year um me and these girls we gift each other well this is our second friend mask but last year our budget was a buffalo logistics i got your message hi amanda and Langiza. this is buffalo international logistics the good you ordered from china is on the way to south africa we have sent you an email or sms and please check and follow the instructions to pay duty and VAT so that we can send it to you flawlessly attention. Please pay tax within 45 days or the package will be returned. Thank you. That book, guys, <laughs> I haven't even received. So today, I was supposed to, the dress I'm supposed to wear today, I ordered it three, two, two, two weeks ago. And I, uh, I haven't received it. And that parcel has the dress i'm supposed to wear today but it's fine i have another friend Ma's dinner with nunko and Seho next week 
I'm hoping we have the friend of thing on Thursday being Friday because Friday is a public holiday. And one thing about Nungu and Seho and I, when the three of us are together, I like Kuzo Munye, like we, we just drink. We like, we ask Kuzeki, I like Kuzo Munye, like it's just. <laughs> so we had to have our friend mask a day before a public holiday so we can rest. So I'll, the dress I was supposed to wear tonight, surely, hopefully, I would have received it by, let me see where it is now. Surely I would have received it by Thursday next week because I was actually supposed to receive it probably on Monday. Let's see, Buffalo, where's my, where's my outfit? Where's my dress? On the 7th of December, what's today? Today's the 8th. At least they updated it. It's just received ZA. W H. So I'm assuming it says received. It's in South African warehouse. I'm assuming I'm gonna have to. If by Monday I don't get anything from them, I'm gonna have to like literally scream the same way I did last 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 time. Buffalo, they sent out an uh, email and a message saying that the driver has my stuff. The driver didn't come for two days, guys. Lapo it had the metric dance traces for those girls. I was so worried. and then they delivered on the same day. If I have to do the same thing today, I'm gonna have to. Um. But now, okay, before this order even gets here, I had ordered something else, my Christmas dress. My Christmas dress is coming. So I have to pay tax for that. But, oh, yes, I was still trying to explain. Oh, guys, I'm, I'm all over the place. I trying to explain. Last year, we had a, a friend mask thing with um, the girls. We decided, like, we're going to gift each other, and the gift amount must amount to a 1,000 rand. You can gift more, obviously, if you want. We picked each other's names off a raffle thing, and then um, we gifted each other. That was fun. It was really, really nice. So this year we decided to, instead of making it a thousand rand uh, and you get one gift from one person, we decided to make it 500 rand. So one person gets two gifts. I don't know if that makes sense. So I'm gifting Tato and Unati. Unati is gifting me and Tato. Tato is gifting Unati and me. So everybody's going to leave with two gifts. Let me show you the gifts that I got for my girls. Let's ah! The fact that you guys are seeing it before them, how special. But let me show you. I need my tripod though. So how it works is that we have a... I need to figure out a way I'm putting this tripod. Let me put it here. We have a... We give each other a wish list. So you send what you want and um, you choose. Choose with what you're going to get, what you're going to give from that wish list. So I'm going to start with... Ooh. This bag, this first gift, it's actually not a Christmas gift, but it's a birthday gift. Tato's birthday was in May, and I didn't get my girl anything. And I think because um, there wasn't an actual celebration, like we don't go out for dinner, we don't do anything. Or did we? I don't remember doing anything. I don't know. I don't think we did anything for Tato's birthday. So it's almost harder to gift someone. For me, I always say, guys, if you want a gift, host a party. Host a party because people are going to come with gifts. What's if you're paying for the food? Why would be the issue? Why wouldn't you come with the gift? I'm paying for the food. You just need to show up. So I think because I, I, I want to say Tato didn't do anything for her birthday this year. I really want to say that. And I think that's why I didn't get a gift. Um, I stand corrected. I could be mistaken. With Unati, we, we did like a... We went to the hotel. We actually even had like a sleepover here. But we went to the hotel. We bought her the 1K. She had just received, gotten 1,000 subscribers. And then I got her some flowers. So with Tato, I don't remember. I don't, don't remember if we did anything. So I basically owe her a birthday gift. So I got her this bag from Superbalist. Um, last year, she had said, early last year when we were like trying to like learn each other, she had said that she's never really been a bag person. And I remember all of us last year for her birthday got her bags. I feel like I still want to continue buying her bags. You do not, you can't have enough bags. Like, I've got a lot of bags, but I only generally, only, <laughs> I always carry this one. <laughs> and I got this as a birthday gift a couple of years ago from Mubushe, but I always carry this bag. So I got tied this bag on Super Superbalist. Uh, I, it's very, very cute. It has a little thing inside. Like a little pouch inside that comes out. Um, and I, I, I hope she likes it. So this is for her birthday. That I never gifted her. So she is going to be getting three gifts. One from me. Two from me and one from... Well, actually, let me not speak for Unati. I don't know. Because I don't think she also get. I don't think Unati gifted Tato a birthday gift. I don't know. So this is... Tato's gift number one. It's in a different paper bag. 
and then I got some tissue paper to just hide. So this was Tato's gift. And then um, I actually need to write here. This is Tato's gift um, for Christmas as it's in a Christmas bag. In her list of the things that she wanted, she had mentioned a laptop bag. Guys, I saw this one. This was way over the money that we had, the 500 rand that we had discussed we we're going to spend on each other. But you know what? The galley is worth it. I don't want to open it. Yes, yes, guys. But it's absolutely gorgeous. Yo, you can't see it. It's so, so beautiful. Um, yeah, kind of cost me. But you know what? She's worth it. Okay, we're going to try and hide it with some tissue paper. And then Unati's gift. She also in her, also in a nice Christmas bag. She also in her, what is this thing called? In her wish list also said that she wanted a tote bag, which was also way above the budget. But you know what? She's worth it. Let me show you. Got this bag. She even sent a link on where to buy the bag from this girl on Instagram. She's based in Durban. Um, how gorgeous. I think it's I don't want to like open like I mean there's like stuff inside. Um it's her bag, she needs to open it. But how elegant, how gorge. And it tastes to get girl because she picked this bag herself. Utato just said I want a laptop bag and I picked it for her. Unati sent the link for the bag and everything. So these are the gifts. I don't know what they're gifting me. I hope it's as amazing as what they're getting. Because I'm gonna suck if it's not. Anyway, I'm so excited to I love gifting people because I like seeing the look on their face. Especially it's nice to gift someone something that they actually want and something that they asked for. So I'm excited about that. Um yeah, that's it. That's it. I've already packed my bag for my sister's house and we're gonna leave. Mbali and I are gonna leave around three and I will see you guys basically when we go to my sister's house. I'm gonna get my makeup did, my hair. I'm trying to like I'm, I want my wig to be a little bit volume, not even curly, I just wanted volume and I don't want the I've got a curler, but I just didn't want heat. So so excited guests and about today. Um couldn't have come fast enough. I'm sad it's not a weekend thing, but I think we just we needed a night, not a weekend thing. It was gonna be a lot for a weekend, but hey, let us welcome to a weekend vlog. I hope that you guys enjoy it. It's gonna be a little bit shorter than usual because I'm not vlogging on Sunday. But please, I hope that you enjoy the little that I can vlog this weekend, and I will see you guys when it's time to go to my sister's house. Ready to get my makeup did. Get tease me, boy. I'm a Mr. Bray. Third, work for bread. Mm, so cold, it takes it so to let. Hurts. Seductive when you look at me that way. Irresistible, but I try. Hypnotic, making you. So erotic 
I did not realize oh yeah time is just not on my side anymore it's like seven o'clock yeah it's seven o'clock and our reservation is for seven o'clock um, but Tato has already said that she's gonna be 20 minutes late um, Unati is always late so I'm not like stressed out but I just want to show you guys you probably would have seen this already on yesterday's vlog this is the dress that I actually bought at yellow sub trading to wear for today and it's gonna be either this one or this one because we're in Christmas color well the theme was Christmas colors this is Norma's dress but I'm not if you watched my vlog yesterday you'll know that is all I kept saying but I'm not my body is not bodying. Um, I just finished my period, so you know I still feel a, bit, a little bit of bloating and stuff. So I don't want to wear anything tight to make, but um, I don't want to be uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna. Yesterday, um, I got a, a like a nice sexy top at Mr. Price, and I'm gonna wear a skirt combined. It looks like a dress, but the colors is a problem. It's all black, and at this point, I actually just don't care. So I'm gonna like undo my hair proper quickly. Um, I had put on like these rollers earlier on because I wanted to some volume so i actually hope it works um okay let me put on my top first then we're gonna undo this hair together okay done dressing um i wish this top was a bit i should have bought a small i got a medium so i don't know how to make it like this so that my boobies are out um i should have bought in a small uh, but I, i'm a medium in general but uh, it's fine let me show you my outfit Yeah, I don't know if you can see it's nothing hectic it's just literally it's, the lighting is bad but it's just um, let me see okay I'm gonna get my sister my cousin to hold the camera it's just a little skirt with a slit um, this top it looks like a dress so I like that and I like that it's you know gives me space and um, my fupa is secured now let's undo this hair. Just take a look at yourself. Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself, trying to forget how you felt. Just take a look at yourself. Can't even be your own friend. Cause you're way too stuck in your head. How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say Nothing that they could do To take all the pain away Sometimes it works out and sometimes it don't Sometimes you win some and sometimes you won't But we could be everything, everything, anything that we see we could be We could be everything that we want We could be extra but i know i'm the same love me in spite of my trauma give me what i need instead of the drama cause when it pop off it's like oh my all good all day but the night we be going so hard on the flip side so tell me we'll be on a day babe i could keep
keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too But you'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that way Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby, we could go all night we could do it all night. Uh -huh. We could go all night, all night. Do we heal? Do we bleed? I'ma follow like, your lead, but we could go all night. Now all of my calls go to voicemail. I block you so I don't raise hell. Should the talk through it in detail? Our separate ways ain't gon' end well, no. But when we get back, it's like oh my. All bad all day, but the night I get that good, good till we act right. So tell me where we on the day, babe I could keep that same energy When you go low, I go low too But you'd rather stay high, I know you Can we stay high, babe? I'd rather be on that wave Tryna control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We could share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go on I'm cool collected, but you pushing on my nerves And knowing your attention, I'm under pressure Okay, I'm admitting that a couple things I said Got acidic in the tone and the presence, I get careless Long as you know, I come with imperfections When you look at me, you see the soul through my flesh You something special Know you looking bomb, the way you dressing gone Flex it, hold it still and let my mind digest You got the leverage, you got the upper handle on the situation You worthy of a million more of the storms that we weather We fight, retreat, and then fuck, but you trying to kill the cycle When nobody stressing that body like me, I know the way you like it I treat you like a queen, run the castle, you a treasure Feel like you setting fire to my desire for the pleasure You a gem, got me blim, let's make amends Know you can't, I'm out here Trying to control our emotions If we on a rise out of passion We can share love in the ocean But if you wanna go insane either way, baby We could go on We could go on I think I came home at 2 and the club, well, the place we were at, we were at Bold, but it's very ghetto. Actually, the lighting here. It's very ghetto. It's like a club. We got there at like half past 7, but it was already like a DJ and we're just like, we're just here, we just want to eat. Also, where's my food? Don't tell me I left my food at the club. Where's the food? Oh, thank God. I came back with my food. Guys, let me show you my gifts. I think I showed a little bit in the in the thingy. I'm gonna start with the Nazi's gift. If you watch my vlog yesterday, you will know that I broke all my glasses. So they got me. Nazi got me glasses. She got me glasses and coasters. How cute! These are really, really gorgeous. Guys, I'm in a quest of quitting alcohol, so these glasses are cute, but like, 
they won't be used as much as they've been used in the past. This was Unati's gift, and then Tato got me something. You guys would have seen this in the club. She got me something that I put on my wish list as a joke, but she was just like, go bed. She got me a vibrator! <laughs> I don't know if I'm allowed to show this on YouTube. Lately, YouTube has been demonetizing basically once a week if i post two to three videos youtube demonetizes at least one so i don't know what the hell i ever did to youtube so i'm not sure if i can actually show this i've never had a vibrator in my life i've never used toys in my life i've always like been with very i think i've been in three relationships and all those relationships have been with extremely conservative men i've never been with anyone who was just like oh let's try it always let's try this i've never and then i've been single for what like three years and i remember someone here on the vlog was just like why do you use pets i had bought pets why do you use pets pets are just so disgusting ing, ing, ing. i use tampons i'm like girl i used to use tampons but when you haven't really had anything go up in here for almost three years Tampons really become really really difficult. So basically, I've been single like for three years. Um, basically, I don't want YouTube to 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 to, to ban me, but basically, intercourseless for three years. And I said it as a joke in my in the in the thingy when I was writing our wish list. Um, I was just like, oh guys, like you know, I've never used, I've never had a, a dildo, and you know, I'm not really um active, like I'm not really sexually active um so it would be nice and then they get got it but now my thing is i'm going home next weekend um when am i supposed to use this because my my alone time is done like my alone time is done and also do i need lube is that even the right sign how do you know which sign is this? this is a small though <laughs> so it's yeah this is small do you choose the sizes of this? Yeah. And also, like, it has that, it has that thing that, ooh, guys, I'm about to have fun. Can I watch? Why do you do that? No. <laughs> so that's my thing, but I don't have alone time. Like, I'm not going to be alone. So when am I going to be using this? I share a room with Milani. I'm going home next week. Like, my alone time is done. Like, my alone time is done. But I'm gonna try it out before um before going home. I can't believe I got a dildo. But guys, last night was such a jump. Last night was actually fun. Um, I met a guy. Oh Jesus! I met a guy who. Nigerian. No, he's from Ghana. I met a guy from Ghana who. Um, I met a guy from Ghana who asked me on a date. He said he wants us to do a breakfast date, um, but I was just like, I know for sure I'm not gonna make a breakfast date, so let's do like a late afternoon lunch. He hasn't texted me. Well, I actually met three guys. Hey, guys, I'm a daughter. One of the guys that I met, he's like, I'm fucking on my phone in the So if I get my phone in the and basically I must put my number on his phone. I put my number on his phone. Then he said, I must send myself a WhatsApp so that he can, I can have his number. When I go to his WhatsApp, guys, I don't have it. I just want to open a chat that you see this thing where the, it's like a, people put a picture here on the background. I don't, I don't, I don't have it. Obviously people put pictures on, on the background. When I open the WhatsApp to send myself a message, tell me why there's a picture, the picture that's there, it's him and a woman at a wedding. And it's not a, that there were guests at the wedding, it's their wedding. <laughs> then I said to him, my guy, you're married. He's not wearing a ring, okay? That's the thing about black men, black men don't wear rings. He's not wearing a ring. I'm saying to him, my guy, you're married. He's like, no, I'm not married. And I'm like, I saw him his phone. I'm like, what the fuck? This is you. He's like, oh no, that's not me. That's my twin. I think that's his twin. Then I'm like, okay. I make him 
turn around. Then I asked one of his friends. I'm like, oh, does he, he have a twin brother? His friend is just like, no, he doesn't have brothers. He only has sisters. So you're going to come up with a mad story and you're not going to ask your friends to match the story. So obviously that's done because I was just like, don't text me. But I wake up this morning, I see I got like three missed calls from him. I'm just like, you're fucking married. You're married. Go, go home to your wife. Go to your family. Go home to your family. Then the second guy I met, I can't remember. Actually, I don't remember. Then this one guy was very intentional. He's from Ghana. And um, he said that he wants to take me out for breakfast. And I was just like, oh, I can't do breakfast because I'll be hungover. He's like, let's go for lunch. I'm like, oh, I can't do lunch because um, uh, I've got pit, say, sip and paint. He's like, okay, cool. Let's go out for like after your sip and paint. I'm like, we can definitely do that. But he gives me vibes like he just wants sex. Because he kept saying, because Bold is in a hotel. He kept saying, well, oh, we are staying here. Him and his brother. So his brother eventually came and joined us for a drink. He was like, oh, we're staying here. Should we just have late lunch here so we can just go to my room? He's like, oh, I'm only here for a week. Okay, we can go out every day for a week. Why, why do I need to come to your room? Yo, know, men will always try. Men will always try. But anyway, guys, that's just an update about last night. I think I'm still drunk also. I might still be drunk. I just might still be drunk. Let me charge all my devices. My phone is on. Yes, yes, my phone is on. My phone is on 1%. And my camera is going to die as well. Let me charge my devices and I'll see you guys when I go to sip and paint. I want anybody to do my makeup for sip and paint, but I don't think I want to wear makeup today. I'm going to do my makeup. I'm going to do my makeup. Mm, yeah, because we didn't get the day snaps yesterday. So we have to. Do I want to do makeup? I think I do. I you hardly. Can do a basic. Yeah, ne? Just do a simple. Something simple. I hardly go outside because I work from home every day, yeah. so it would be nice. Hey, let me actually do my makeup. <laughs> Two steps backwards, yeah. And much your lover who don't use big words, yeah. I don't need commenting at all because I know what I want. Baby, can't you figure it out? What's going on in your heart? What's it gonna take for you to love? Take for you to love me. How beautiful I am. I need Mbali to move in with me so she can do my face. Just what? This is me. And I was just like, I don't want to wear makeup today. Why? Why wouldn't I? 
just look at me just look at me okay let's go uh, but the minute i need some strawberry juice i'm gonna pass by woody's hopefully i'll find the strawberry juice and let's go help out the serpent paint actually starts at two but i was just like i'll get there early to help her out like setting up and stuff and now she needs strawberry juice so i'm just gonna go get that and let's go paint uh, it's a sip and paint i don't know if i'm gonna be sipping today because yo hi <laughs> guys try not that like now yo Got me obsessed, got me obsessed, got me obsessed You getting better with the times Looking on your herbs, tasting like some fine wine X broke your heart, you can hear that shit with mine Niggas be calling, but you never mind Cause you all mine Pull up to my house late night Hit the brake lights in the shade right I know what's up on your mind Pour a couple shots with the Henny in my cup And a couple moments later we'll be building up a twine Something that's divine I to give it time, but I'm patient I just wanna see on your spaceship Plus you done the earth and you never on some face shit Splitting half the bill, I the women didn't pay shit Basic we should take a time, but you pace it And you want the one, God ain't no copy, paste it Felt too many times, this is different, we can make it Love dripping good off of you, let me taste it Got me obsessed, got me obsessed, got me obsessed She's got her. I've never actually met a real life person like who has their own line. She's got her own line of Lipstick. lipsticks. I think I'm gonna. Can you buy one or is it just a set? It's, it's they come as a set. As a set, yeah. okay. So, uh, people can buy from Instagram. Okay, I'll link your Instagram, Instagram below. Page and Facebook and also WhatsApp business. Okay. I do have a website, but it's still under construction. And then, yeah, the lipstick comes as a set. It has one gloss and three matte colors. Love it. So there's a red set and a nude set. That is a nude set. Okay. And this is a red set. So the same gloss would be here. Okay, I see, I see. Oh my god. Try. I don't even know you, and I'm so proud so of these you. Are my Insta, okay, Facebook I'll I'll put pages. your. I'll link it below anyway. Perfect finish, but are you a makeup artist? No. Oh. Okay. 
saying, am I high or am I crazy? Mind that you take me The shop, she would rather carry her things and in her hands <laughs> and then to take the bag I'm painting. <laughs> yeah, actually, Ben Yap, yes, she said, yes, she said. She's beautiful. Yes, I am. for you. To you. It is beautiful to you. For all of us. your eyes only make hair. <laughs> When I let the book start painting, it's not a good thing. 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 It's not a talking about we are traumatizing her it went wrong mm. she says we plan and god decides <gasps> I, it definitely went wrong The 
problems disappear She could tell you the things you wanna hear She could read your mind and that she could believe All the little lies to tell yourself a lie that are coming to show you my face one last time the way you feel was a strength in your corner because we've got this makeup but like all of my friends are either within cuddles uh actually all my friends are with them in you know what my phone is charging i'm gonna go through my contact list i just feel like this face is just too gorgeous to go to waste but anyway i'm back but firstly what an amazing event if you okay before i even get there what an amazing event wholesome i didn't know anyone there except for tato and obviously when you know it's like going to a wedding by yourself or going to um someone's party by yourself you don't expect that person to entertain you because they they'll be busy with other people or they'll be busy with the stuff so mm -hmm. It was a bit nerve-wracking for me because I was just like, mm, and I met some of the most amazing women I've ever met. The first lady I met, her name is Tabby. Um, she was just telling, she came alone, and I was just like, oh my gosh, she came alone. Like I'm still in that stage or era where I'm so afraid of doing. I want to mind. I want to go out. I want to go to Groove, but I'm just like, mm, I need to call a friend. I need to call a friend. She's just like, no go alone like just do it alone and she was just like i did it alone because you know the thing is sometimes you call friends and they aren't they they're not interested in the same things that you're interested in on that day or maybe their finances are not okay like there's always something so do it alone so i'm now like i was so inspired by the lady i met her name is tabby she was sitting next to me you guys would have seen her in the vlog so inspired um to just do things alone and you will always meet amazing women there and i want to talk because i remember at my mother's day event most of the people who came they came alone but it you wouldn't have said because everyone just child it's the same thing today what a wholesome event tattoo is so amazing so i said i said that for for the purpose of this vlog because there's two tattoos in this vlog i'm gonna call her boy tomato she's so amazing she's so good with people and i think that in one of my q and a's yeah in my updated q and a i did talk about how the, about the fact that um the fear i have on hosting the mother's day event like being around her makes me feel less fearful because she's so good at what she does and today when i was telling her that oh i've got a venue but like i feel like i need to go see it first she's like oh look, i'll come with she said it in passing but i don't think she understands how much for me that I was like oh, okay let's go um but like what i want to reiterate is what i learned from tabby the lady i sat next to um is that do things by yourself I basically went alone even though like obviously I knew Tato but I didn't expect her to entertain me because it was her event and I left with so many friends <laughs> I think I left with like four or five friends then I met my subscriber I met a subscriber then I met other friend with friends on Facebook um, and then we met in real life it was just like so nice and even if I didn't meet like people that who know me or I feel like I know them a little bit it would have been just as nice because the woman the woman I was sitting with at my table none of them knew who I was they did not subscribe to my channel well now they are because I've basically forced everybody to subscribe to my channel but it was just so nice so basically what my take out of this is that if you want to do it if you want to go somewhere do it go alone like just do it you will meet like-minded women wherever you're going what an amazing event and I want to show you guys what I painted Obviously, you would have seen because one of the ladies was sitting within the table, Lerato, was just like trashing my painting. But I don't blame her. I forgot to show, show you guys her painting. It was so horrible for a whole Dutch Judy. So, so horrible. Let me show you mine. So, either you are going to paint a canvas or a, a, a tote bag. So, I, I, I chose a tote bag because it's, it's practical, you know, like practical. And... Let me say something. I'm a creative at heart, you know. Not even at heart. I'm a creative by profession, but I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not an artist. <laughs> Please look at my back. Oh my god, this is what I painted, and I, I think I just gave up. I'm halfway, and you know what? I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with it. I tried, but I want to show you. There were uh, tattoos also. Also, like tattoos, so amazing. There were vendors at her. She gave me an idea. 
she gave me a, like i have so many ideas for mother's day thanks to tato and luckily guys if you want to experience a sip and paint just come to my mother's day event because tato's going to be there curating hers we still need to obviously discuss the nitty gritties but she's going to be there with all of this curating it so it was so much fun it's bottomless bottomless alcohol and she had food and then she allowed people to come like vendors like i guess if you buy a ticket and you also sell things you can come with your table with your people who come with there with their tables and the banners you guys would have seen one of the ladies she speaks here about her name is tess tessa tess tessa and um, she speaks about her 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 products and i'm like okay cool so how much are you making out of this asking tata she's like oh nothing i'm just like God is going to continue to bless her because those ladies, well, I bought from two of them, Tessa and um, I'll show you now, Claire, Claire's closet, I'll show you now. But I'm just like, usually as a vendor, you pay to, you pay a certain amount. I would assume, I actually don't know, I've never, never been a vendor, but that may, basically may God bless her. Let me show you what I bought first from Tessa's, um, from Claire's closet. Yeah, on Instagram, she's Claire's Closet underscore Z A. Facebook, Claire's Closet. Twitter, Claire's Closet. Um, so with Claire's Closet, you would if you bought something from her, you get a free roller. I think I've got like ten of these, um, and I need to start using them for my face because I have I actually have a lot of these. I bought two earrings from um, Claire's Closet, and ah, oh, she said that if I tagged her on Instagram. I, I stood a chance to win something. I didn't tag. I forgot. I forgot. But I'm still going to tag it. How gorgeous. Like, I'm in my minimal, minimalist era. So now, you know, like, I like those huge hoops. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoop. That's me. Um, but now I'm into, you know, smaller, dainty, elegant stuff. So I got these. Um, let's open them. How gorgeous. They're still big, like my vibe, but elegant. I can't wait to rock these. Then I also got these. These I've seen, I think, at Sheen. And I think I had them on my cart. But support black business. Support black business. So I got these. I got these from her. And then also, the first person I saw was Tess. She is so cute. She is so shy. And also, I learned a lot from her. She's shy, but she runs a business. And as in contrary to what I come across here, I am also quite shy. Um, and I always feel like if you're shy, how are you able to run a business? But Tessa showed me that you can be shy and still run a business because for me, I always feel like a business requires you to be like ah, ah, hi, hi, to be a people's person. I don't think I'm a people's person, but okay, I got this from Tessa. She's got her own line, guys. Like she's got her own lip gloss and, and lipstick line. So I bought these from Tessa. It's so gorgeous. So she, ooh, guys. And Boitou Bello was saying how amazing they are. So I put the nude set. I'm going to link both the ladies' businesses below. Claire's Closet and Tessa. It's so beautiful. So it's three matte lipsticks and a lip gloss. And Boitou Bello was saying how amazing it is. Um, I can't wait to try it out since, since I'm a makeup girly because my cousin Bali's around. Since I'm a makeup girly, I'm going to need some lipsticks. So they come in either the nude um, palette or red palette. Uh, I'm going to take it easy. So I decided to take it easy and buy the nude palette because not really like a makeup girly as much as. And also I still have a complex. I don't know if you guys are like me, but you know, like when you're not light skinned, like I, I do acknowledge that I'm not dark skinned, but I'm not light skinned. And when you're not light skinned, we grew up being told that we can't wear red lipstick, we can't wear red nails, we can't have red hair, and all of that. So I still have a little bit of that complex when it comes to red lipstick. And also even with hair, like I, I always have black hair, like I always have black hair. I still have that complex where when you're raised and being told that 
red lipstick is not for black girls color basically basically we were raised being told that color is not for dark skin girls color is for the light skin girlies so that's why i took the nude instead of the red but um so this was 250 like the set is 250 and it's reasonable because it's three lipsticks guys three different shades of lipsticks and um a lip gloss so very very happy with my purchase both purchases i can't wait to actually just rock them i am going to um go shower i'm at my sister's house i thought i was gonna go home but body promised to do noma's makeup tomorrow noma has an event tomorrow and body promised to do her makeup so we can't leave but yes, yes, actually, maybe I must leave in Bali and go home and go test my vibrator. I'm going to go test my vibrator at home. But you'll be in the other room. I, I, I'm not going to use a vibrator when you're in the other room. Huh? Yeah, but what if I scream? What if I'm like, ah! So I'm sure bad. I'm gonna go home and go test that vibrator touch grab me and I'm gonna go test the glass. I'm gonna have some mimosa, not mimosa, champagne with the glasses when I got me while I have a vibrator. I'm just gonna be like hey, <laughs> hey, <is it> <laughs> <laughs> And then who am I gonna call? Actually, you're right, you know, but it's saying that the vibrator if the vibrator chokes me. So I think for the first time using it, I need someone in the house. <laughs> So I'm gonna stay at my sister's house. I was gonna do your CPR. I was gonna like wake me up, and also now I'm gonna die with my legs in the air. <laughs> and it would it would be a nice death. Though. The cause of death, you know, cause of death cause will be very fun. It will be very very nice. Okay, let me not. I'm gonna test my vibrator tomorrow. Okay, guys, I'm gonna then then we're done. We're done for the day. Once again, what a wholesome event, what an amazing event. So, 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 so triple inspired to, to do my, I mean, Mother's Day is already being going to be done because we have a venue, but like, it's just, who oh guys, like being around people who know what they're doing and they're doing their thing and they're just so warm with people. Oh, what a wholesome event, what an amazing event. I left at six, maybe half past six and I left, there were still people there. And that's how much fun it was because you know something was well and something went well and something was fun when people don't want to leave. Nobody wants to leave. Even I didn't want to leave. I was just like, yo, but fuck, I'm far. So I had to leave. But like, I would like to thank Tato. I will link her Instagram and Facebook business here so that you guys just stay in the loop about this. Today's um, Sip and Paint was the last one for the year. She's got a Christmas lunch thing happening um but if you want the sip, the sip and paints guys it's worth it it's like it's food like the ticket includes food the canvas whether it's a bag or it's an actual canvas and bottomless drinks bottomless drinks and the food was amazing i i have no words i have no words i know that she, obviously she, now she's taking a break it's december she's going to be back on next year as please mean ella Oh, please I'll link her business um, profile below these sip and paints are amazing and if you can't go to her sip and paints come to my mother's day event she's going to be there and you're going to have the experience but anyway with that being said let me shut today down um yo I can't stop talking about this event because like the woman I met the event itself was just out of this world I will see you guys tomorrow at my house I'll probably see you here at Nama's house I'll see you guys tomorrow. Someone must have broken my heart, like really torn it apart in another life, in another life. Someone must have really fucked me up, like caused my heart to stop in another life, in another life. Otherwise, I don't know why I keep coming back to this, keep fighting all of it. Don't trust that there's love like it. I don't know why, I just can't believe in it Like somehow I can't commit, guess I have to admit Yeah, I got an issue with love, yeah, I got an issue with trust Really better open it up, oh, 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 oh
show it tries Worry that it won't be enough oh, yeah. Someone must have made me feel bad But who I was and what I had to give Oh Someone must have told me a lie Really played with my mind in another life Otherwise I don't know why I keep coming back to this Keep fighting all of it Don't trust that there's love to give it Show it trust, but you better open it up. Oh, yeah, I got an issue with love. Yeah, I got an issue with trust. There's an issue with love. weekend at my sister's place and I need to be in my house today is the last Sunday I have without the kids and I was just like I need to be in my house like I want to be home like I wanted to wake up here but couldn't and um, so now I just got home well, I got home maybe about 30 minutes ago it's almost 12 midday and the weather is perfect for like to stay indoors, watch some movie. I was so inspired yesterday at the sip and paint and I was just like, I'm gonna also sip and paint at my house today. I'm just gonna like have a self-care Sunday. I'm gonna make myself, I got myself, let me show you what I got. I got myself some stuff. I wanna make a cheese board. So let me show you what I got. Um, I also wanna cook later on. So I went to, I got some chicken, um, some bread. Oh, this is just for the week. Some cream. I got some potatoes. Um, but I just want to show. Okay, of course, mushrooms. These ones special two for sixty rand, but it's thirty five rand each, so I just bought two. Um, I got some sparkling water. I'm actually quite thirsty, so I'm gonna. Um, what else did I get? Yes. I mean, as mentioned, I want to make a, a cheese board for one myself. So I've got some salami, um, yes, salami, and some, some of the salami sticks. I got this mix with carrots, cucumbers, with some uh, hummus. Hummus. I've had this before and I actually really enjoyed it. I think I enjoyed the hummus more than anything. I got some little cute salmon with cream cheese inside. Uh, I've got this chicken um, ham thing. What is it called? Sliced smoked chicken. Some grapes. And I've got these cheese. Oh, God. Yeah, I've got these small cheese. If you buy five, if you buy five, you pay for four. So I've got the mature cheddar. I've got some blue cheese. Um, so I got two of the blue cheese because I actually like blue cheese. I got this. I don't know what cheese this is. Oh, it's cream cheese. Ah, oh, should I bought two of this and gouda. I don't know why I bought gouda because I have gouda in my house. But anyway, 
this is all that I bought and I'm going to romanticize my life a little bit. I'm going to make the cheese board. I'm going to open some champagne. I'm going to water my plants and I'm going to paint. I am going to also close my vlog here. I feel like I've spoken enough throughout this weekend vlog. I will let you guys just enjoy the music. Enjoy. Hope you enjoy watching me. But I know you enjoy the music a lot. So I'll play some of the songs that I know that you guys like. And I hope that you enjoyed your weekend. I had a very wholesome weekend. Friday I saw my friends. Yesterday I met amazing woman i can't stop raving about the woman i met just yesterday thanks to tato um for the sip and paint and then today i'm closing off my vlog so today we're actually supposed to uh munati tato and i tato she is i kept saying but i'm gonna call all tato ways or because there's two tattoos this weekend we were we, we, we made plans on friday but i think we were all drunk when we were just like okay guys on sunday let's meet and bry but no one has said anything and I'm being quiet on purpose. I think I'm just doing that thing where, you know when you make plans with someone and then the day comes and you don't, you just don't feel like it and you keep quiet hoping that they also keep quiet. Um, it's 12 o'clock. The girls hasn't said anything. So I'm just like, okay, I guess the bride's cancelled. And also like, you know, you make plans when you're drunk. It's just a pipe down, calm down. So we were supposed to, it also, but it would have ended wholesomely. It was supposed to, it was going to end like a wholesome vlog, but I'm glad that nobody's saying anything. And also no one's going to say anything now. It's quite late. So I do hope that, but basically what I'm trying to say is I enjoyed my weekend. I had a lovely one. I hope that you had an amazing weekend too. I wish you a productive week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you. so much cuz I really care too much it's all just overwhelming I'm just overthinking I feel like I'm too much keep mistaking my anxiety for intuition and stress keeps getting in the way of my ambition logically
Okay. 